<laughs> Dance. Hello YouTube. Um, I've been requested to do cage tours, so I have just cleaned Clyde and Timmy out, so I'm going to do them first. Um, I'll start at the end. They have a multicoloured bridge stick thing, which Clyde likes to lay under. And they also have a igloo, which underneath is a pet mat, which they lay on. And I have a um, little jingly ball, which drives me nuts of the night time, because that's all you can hear. Um, I also have just a standard tube, which is a bit disgusting. Um, another little hidey house which they don't really go in. Um, cardboard tube, their food bowl and just a little brick. Um, then they have their ramp which goes up to their kitchen which only Clyde uses. And then which is their, well, it's not really a kitchen area, it's a loft area because I'm waiting to get hay racks. So yeah. That's their nice clean cage, which I've just done. And I'll clean the others out and then put them all in a, a video together. So, see you in a moment. Okay, I'm back with the second cage now. This is Buddy and Nibble's cage. Oh, Buddy's hiding. Anyway, they also have one of these pet mats which Buddy's been lying on. Uh, these also have a, a tube which has gone disgusting. Oh, there you go, going for it. A bowl of nuggets. Um, I have two different types of nuggets, but um, I am going to do a video on that a bit later. They also have cardboard tubes. Um, a tunnel which is meant for outdoors, but they like it in here, as you can see. Say hello. There you go. <coughs> I also have a a bridge with sticks sometimes they lay under it <coughs> and they also have a a piggly they don't have well and a brick they don't have much yet but um cages are going to be expanded and more toys will be put in there's also a little dream catcher on the outside just to add to it okay so um i'll just show you this is messy Rolo Gizmos and the baby's cage. God knows what they do in here because it's just awful. Um, but yeah, I will be back with a, a clean cage. Finally, all three cages are now clean. So, this is Gizmo, Rolo and the baby's cage. Say hello. Um, their food's in the corner. Their Heidi house is in this little extension bit. They have a tube, jingly ball, cardboard tube and they also now have a pet mat which I bought the other day. Now they actually don't have a lot in their cage but they're really happy and they're even happier once I've cleaned them out so I filled up their nuggets. Um, this is the kitchen area. I just put the same towels in as before because they weren't all that bad. Um, this is a one by three. They also have a water bottle up here as well, which needs filling up, and so do all their bottles. Uh, Rollo's in the igloo. And my baby's a six weeks old today. Yes, you are. Are you six weeks old? Are you going to go in the kitchen? Are you? Are you going to go upstairs? No, not going upstairs. Oh, I don't know what to make of that. Ah. <laughs> See, say hello. four piggies do actually use this um, they didn't at the start but I'm glad they are now mm. Mm. Timmy's wand's coming oh what have you done there Clyde you fatty right, it's the 
can't run them too. Say hello. Say hello. Okay, well, I'm going to get my room cleaned up because it's um, a bit messy at the moment from where I've cleaned the guinea pigs out. And then I shall be back with a video of everything that I have for the piggies. Food, hay, etc. Wait, I'm going to have to cut that off. Stop eating the label. Naughty piggies. Right, say bye bye. We'll be back in a minute. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to talk about everything that I have for my piggies. Um, start off with, I'll start off with my food that I have for them. Most of you know what this is, but just Burgess XL guinea pig nuggets. Um, it has vitamin C in and it's just got everything in. Um, I do have WAG, which most of you know as well. Um, I was trying to get them off of this and just um, pay out for nuggets because um, they don't seem to eat the yellow bits, these bits, and um, this is basically half the bag. So I was just trying to get them off of this and just buy the nuggets. Um, but my boyfriend went and bought me this because it was only a pound. So they now have another bag to eat and then this will be their last bag. So I have the XL nuggets and I also have the blackcurrant and oregano nuggets which are practically the same, um, just a different flavour and they are much smaller. Um, that one's a new bag so I can't really show you but most of them know what you, what you look like. Um, and they're the big ones so this is what I keep my nuggets in just food containers from 99p stores um, I got the ones with the blue lids because it, obviously my guinea pigs are boys and this is my blackcurrant and oregano nuggets as you can see I'm running slightly low on these so that's why I bought a new bag now I feed them I fed them quite a different range of hay. Um, I used to feed them Wilkinson's hay. Um, I still do. But I found a local pets shop which isn't far from um, the train station. So I can literally just jump on a train and walk up. I get this bag, which apparently is a small bag, for £1.45. Which I think is really great value. Um, it's not compressed, but... Um, the guinea pigs love it and it's just handy to jump on a train and just buy it if I've got a spare £1.45 in my purse so yeah it does come all the hay does come right up to the top um, I will need to get some more soon I'll ask my dad to get me some from Wilkinson's as I'm not going to have time to go up to Seven Oaks but yeah I think this is really good value hay considering that's only the small bag um, standing it up against my CNC cage it's that tall so I think that's really good value so moving on from the food um, these are my food bowls that I put um, the guinea pigs vegetables in that's Clyde and Timmy's bowl they're only cleaning out by the way um, that's Buddy and Nibble's bowl and that's the um, Rollo and Gizmos and the baby's bowl. Now this bowl is smaller but um, as the babies are so small it's just easier for them to get into because otherwise in one of these bowls they literally have to sit in the bowl to get their food and then the others don't get any so I thought this way I'll just use this one and even if the veggies are overflowing then I'll get eaten anyway. Okay so that's that. Oh, um, I also do have um, a veggie ball with a, bell, with a bell on um, I've seen some others in another shop without the bell which I might get because this is all I can hear of a night time if I forget to like pull it out the cage so I'm going to get the ones without the bell on um, I have these there's a, there's a, these are actually meant for dogs but um, there's a bed and a 
um, carry case which I got from a boot sale actually for £6.50 for the two Oy. which I thought was very great value um, this was in Gizmo and Rolo's cage but now the babies are in there um, I think it's a bit too big to put in there so I've taken it out until the cages are extended but this I'm going to use for when I move house um, because I can just put the guinea pigs in it well not all together as they're not going to get on but um, just have to do several trips and um, my dad's going to take me down in the car so it won't be too bad well, my camera's on low battery so sorry if it cuts off um, oh yeah I've got woodland hay cookies which they will probably get the rest of them today uh, they cut in half, I've got these from pets at home they've lasted me very well and last but not least this is my grooming box now I have got some mite spray because some of them did have mites um, standard clipping um, things which I clip my guinea pig's nails with um, hairbrush because uh, Gizzy's got long hair but I did um, buy this originally for my Abyssinians but um, they don't really need it because their hair goes in all sorts of different directions but now I actually do have guinea pigs to brush so I do that sometimes and I just bought these from Pound Man's um, this is just, I just use this on their feet I don't use them very often because, well, I don't know if they're good for them but I just use it to wipe their feet sometimes so that's everything I have for my piggies oh, and when I finished cleaning them up as you can see there's some white stuff on the floor um, I just sprinkle shake them back on the floor and it just makes my room smell a lot better after the after I've cleaned the piggies out because they are extremely smelly and I've only cleaned them out um, on Tuesday so it's been like three days and they smell and I also have a little plug-in air freshener so that's all for now um, except um, a shout out to Emma's piggies um, she has Facebook and I will put a link down at the bottom and also Emma's Piggies 1996 YouTube which there will also be a link to she requested me to do cage tours so that's what I've done not very well but I'm not very good at these videos so yeah that'll be all for now as my camera's about to die so say bye bye piggies bye bye now, there's, Clyde likes the land top all the time um, and Timmy's inside but yeah, bye!